In this video, I'm gonna show you how to find Shopify stores using Google. So if that's something you've been interested in, you're definitely watching the right video, so keep watching. One of the biggest pain points with launching and growing a Shopify store is that there's simply too much to do and you're the only person that has time to do it. You can't afford to hire help either, it really sucks. But you can make it a lot easier on yourself by stealing some ideas from other Shopify stores in your niche or industry. But the question is, how do you find other stores that are in your niche or industry? Well, that is the question this video is going to answer for you in just a few easy steps. And stick around to the end of the video for a bonus tip on a free tool you can use to do even more Shopify store research. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here's how we can find Shopify stores just using Google. It's actually really simple. So I'm going to take us to google.com, even though I'm already on it technically, just so we can make this official. Okay, we're in google.com right now. Let's imagine you use whatever keyword for your niche or whatever your niche is titled. For this example, I'm going to use the niche dog grooming, which falls inside of the pet industry, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in the keywords dog grooming. You wanna make sure that inside the quotes, you put whatever keywords or whatever niche or industry you're trying to find a Shopify store for. Then you put in Plus, and you put in this thing, site, myshopify.com. What this does is this tells Google, you wanna look for Shopify stores that have the phrase dog grooming or are about dog grooming, and the site is hosted on myshopify.com. Every Shopify store, if they're hosted on Shopify, will have a myshopify.com URL. Probably when you started your own Shopify store, you originally had a myshopify.com URL and you probably just put your own domain on it to be forwarded to. But in general, every Shopify store is gonna have this somewhere. So we're going to search this up. So what you're gonna do is you're going to skip past all of the search results that say sponsored because those people are paying Google, the Google ads, to get their site hosted at the top. The sponsored sites may or may not be Shopify stores, so just skip past them. Now you see beneath, I see, oh, myshopify.com, and I see a bunch of websites. The first one is the good pup store .myshopify.com. Let's check it out. Okay, so you can see the design for this. It's pretty good, simple, right? Definitely nice visual effects to make them stand out. This is a really nice store. So we're gonna go in, and if you like the store, you could start to do more research on them. You can see how the store is set up, what products they're using. You can see how the product pages are set up. Like, you get the idea. And then from there, you can kind of get some ideas for how you can design your own store or how you can improve upon it. Now what I'd also do is I would take a look at the reviews for each store on the product page or if they have a specific reviews page and you're gonna see what are all the good things they say about the store and then maybe if you can find some bad things as well, you can use those things people didn't like about the store or the product and use it to improve your own store or your own products, whatever it is you wanna do. You can see this, so yeah, you get the idea. So we're gonna go back to the search results and we're going to find a different store now. Let's look at this one right here, Pawns Petland. Okay, so this brought us to a product page. We're going to go to the home page. Now, this Shopify store was built using the Shopify debut theme. Let's see if I can prove that right now. If you wanna check to see if store is using a Shopify theme, you're gonna open the developer console, which is up here. Go to developer tools, go to the console, and you're gonna type in the word Shopify with the first letter being capital. And you can see this is a Shopify store for sure. That's a little tip you can use to figure out if any store is using Shopify. But the reason why I came in here, I wanted to see the theme they're using. They are using a Shopify store called, or a Shopify theme called Debut, which is a Shopify 1.0 theme, really old Shopify theme. Now the reason why I showed you this is because this is a real business using an old Shopify theme. If you were to go in and set up a Shopify store using Shopify's free dawn theme and take some inspiration from the other brands that have a cleaner design, like you could easily beat this. Any one of you watching right now can design a better Shopify store than this one with no design experience. I know you can. 
I'm gonna be making some Shopify Dawn videos pretty soon, showing you how you can set up your store's design from start to finish using Shopify Dawn. So if you're interested in that, you be sure to let me know in the comments. But either way, that's essentially what you would do to find the Shopify store through Google. Let's search it up a different niche. Let's look at, I don't know, home and garden. No, no, let's look at kitchen. Um, maybe not kitchen. I'm thinking of a specific kitchen product. Let's look up knives. I'm gonna do kitchen knife. Cool, so you can see I'm finding some Shopify stores right here that have to do with kitchen knives. Let's click into it, let's look at it. This brought me to a product page, which makes sense. I look at the phrase kitchen knife, but if I just go back to the home page for the store, I can see how the store is set up. Again, really easy to find other stores. You're gonna go in, you're gonna kinda do an audit of their store, go through all the pages, go through all the customer reviews, go through all the blog posts, their social media, you're gonna to wanna to see how they're running their business. What are they doing? To see what is the one thing that they're not doing that I, or not me, you, can do better than them. And that's how you're gonna beat them. Okay, essentially from start to finish, that is how you find Shopify stores using Google. So if you're still watching, I'm gonna keep the promise that I made earlier in the video when I said I'd show you a bonus tip or rather a free tool you can use to do even more Shopify store research so you can get your store started as soon as possible. All right, let's do this right now. So you're gonna go into the URL search bar of your browser. You're gonna type in shopifyspy.com. See right here, shopifyspy.com, okay. This is a tool you can use to spy on Shopify stores. There's a bunch of different features you have in here that you can use, but for now, let's just click start now for free. And you're gonna enter in a keyword of whatever your niche is or whatever your desired keyword or industry is. We're gonna go back to the example of the dog grooming store. So we're gonna type in dog grooming, see what pops up. So a bunch of different Shopify stores are here. I'm gonna click on the first one. And we're gonna go to jump to site. Okay, this is incredible, actually. This is an incredibly designed Shopify store. It sticks out. This person is definitely making money with this, for sure. All right, honestly, I'm kind of interested to see if I could build, rebuild this in Shopify Dawn. Let me know if you guys wanna see a video of me retrying to rebuild this inside of Shopify Dawn or something very close to it. Let me know. But either way, that's a free tool you can use to do even more research. You're gonna follow generally the same process, look throughout the store, see what they're doing well, see what the customers are saying about them, you know, do your research. Now, if we go back to the tool that I just mentioned to you, you can see some other stuff about them, like where the store is based in, what industry or category they're in, and just a bunch of other information. So if you're interested, I recommend you going through the rest of the Shopify spy tool and seeing what other cool stuff you can do with it. All right. So that about wraps up the video. I hope you found this helpful and I hope this helps you do research on other Shopify stores so you can figure out exactly what your store's design should be, what your offer should be, how you should price your products and all that good stuff. All right, and if you thought this was interesting, check out this other video from this other channel that I found that talks about how you can find successful Shopify dropshipping stores. Some of you watching might be into drop shipping, so if you are, this is definitely the next video you wanna check out. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed and found it helpful, and if you did, smash that like button beneath and subscribe to the channel so I know you liked the video. Okay, hope to see you on the next one.